That looks really, really cool. Yeah. Emergency alert. Like this road here is completely flooded from there. Good morning, welcome to Cebu everyone. Last night we head to the airport, we jumped on a flight from Manila. It only took an hour and a half, so definitely one of the shorter flights we've been on. We'll see you in an hour and a half in Cebu. It was raining when we arrived last night, so we just jumped in a taxi and headed straight to the hotel. Oh. This is nice. Twin beds, just a TV, and a bathroom. Okay, this is the room, nice and easy. Just a budget room, really. We were only here for two nights. We tried Jollibee yesterday, so we are gonna head out and we're gonna have Jollibee again because we really enjoyed it, to be honest. So, that's all we're gonna do for tonight. We have only got one day here in Cebu, so we are gonna head out in the rain regardless and just see what the city has to offer. It's absolutely hammering down and... It doesn't look like it's stopping any soon. So, Anytime soon. But we're going to keep exploring, so we need to pick up one thing before we carry on. We're Yay! good to go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so they still have jeepneys everywhere here, but they look a little bit different. They look more like, more like vans rather than the war vehicle trucks. But still everywhere, still really popular. We might have mentioned in one of our other videos that it is Holy Week this week. So there's loads of people around. They're all selling like the, um, the crosses. Um, and there is a basilica right next to us. So. Which we are heading to now. Okay, so the first stop we've come down to is Magellan's Cross and it's actually one of the top landmarks here in the city. So it's actually a stone kiosk with a cross planted inside which is believed to be planted by the first Spanish expedition which arrived in the Philippines in the 1500s. And the leader was a guy called Ferdinand Magellan or Magellan. So we've actually come down here on a Sunday so it's actually really busy, a lot of people around. Um, obviously it's a Catholic monument so yeah, super busy here. Yeah, the cross is actually situated just in front of the basilica on the other side and there's so many people around. Okay, so we made it to our next stop, which is Fort San Pedro. And in the square in front of it, there's definitely something going on. There's a massive crowd, and there's some government sort of tents up and stuff. Not there's sure a lot what of it is. People in like bright yellow t-shirts. Nina Mabated t-shirts. No idea what that is. Thank you. Slight change of plan. It's closed. Uh, there's like some sort of like, it sounds like a like, marching band or something inside. Let me just pick you up so you can see. There's like a marching band or something going on inside. We can hear it, but we can't see it. We are at the Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral now, and it's actually Palm Sunday. Uh, so we're not going to go in today because there's like some ceremonies and things going on. And they've actually got a big board uh, showing the week's itinerary for Holy Week. And some days there's things going on from about 7 a.m. until night time. Guys, we've had an alert through. Both had one. Our phone's vibrated. Emergency alert. Red rainfall warning in Cebu. What do we do if it's a red warning? It's red. I'm assuming red's bad. 
Uh, I'm gonna say red's bad, yeah. Do it we says need to in... get in? Do we need to like, you know, get away from the outside? I mean, by looking at the floor, there are very, very big puddles. And I think it does flood here if there's so much rain. Yeah, it's been raining non-stop since we landed in Cebu and I know it's supposed to carry on raining, but red... A red weather warning's not good. Like, yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> um, we are, we're heading to Mol... What's it? Molval? Molval? Malval? I'm not quite sure how you say it. We've completely butchered that name, I apologize. Yeah, we're heading to Molval, is it, tomorrow? Um, so we're hoping the rain stops, but apparently with the red warning, it's not going to. But we're out here, we've got our umbrella, we're gonna make the most of it anyway. Yeah. But yeah, we're heading to the next stop and then I think we're gonna grab some lunch. Our next stop that we've come to is the Cebu Heritage Monument. And it's a series of sculptures commemorating the important events and buildings from Cebu's colonial past. It's really impressive the detail and the thought that must have gone into this monument because although it's one monument, there's loads of different sort of sections, sections detailing different events that have happened throughout history. I think my favourite part of it is the part with the Philippines flag. That looks really, really cool. Yeah. Okay, guys, I see why there's a red warning. The road's completely flooded here. I just hope it hasn't affected like people's fa like family homes too much and businesses and stuff. Yeah, because it is getting... The water's getting a lot higher in some places. Like this road here is completely flooded from there all the way to the end, that's nuts. Okay, so you're coming to Robinson's Galleria Cebu to escape the rain a little bit. And we're just taking a little walk around now. And this, this shopping mall is so pretty. They've got these little lights. They almost look like Christmas lights. <laughs> all along the escalators and all around. It's actually a really nice place. Okay, we've killed some time. we picked up some snacks. We're gonna brave the rain and head back to the hotel, I think. Hopefully it hasn't got worse than it was when we came in. It is now torrential. <laughs> it's gonna be a long walk. We're gonna try and get a grab because this rain is not stopping and it is coming down heavy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Right, we have made it back to the hotel. The Uber driver said that he thinks there's a typhoon on the way. Which we hope isn't true because that will be a little bit scary. Yeah, um, but it would explain why the weather's getting in a bit rainy. But yeah. my hair is awful. My cut does look as if it's almost healed, so hopefully I can get a haircut because I've been putting it off. <laughs> due to this cut that happened, what, like two weeks ago now? Three weeks ago? Three weeks ago, yeah, and you wanted a haircut before it happened too. But yeah, look, this is ridiculous. Don't know what it is. <laughs> so yeah, haircut will be happening in a couple of days, hopefully. Yeah. Or whenever I get a chance. So yeah, we're just gonna chill out for the rest of the evening, I think. Yeah. Um, it isn't all looking good out there, so... And we did get a message to say red warning. And I feel like a red warning would probably mean stay inside. That looks as if it's the only bit of Cebu that we are going to see. It was nice to get out, even if it was only for a couple of hours in the rain. So sorry to short one today, but we are moving on tomorrow. So we'll be seeing some exciting things in the next few days. Yeah, it looks as if we're going to be getting out to the nature. But for now, we are going to end it here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next one.